looks very sturdy. You see, it doesn't melt or it's not liquidy. The street food in Istanbul is simple, made on the spot, and just mouth-watering delicious. The moment we arrived in Turkey, we knew what we had to do. Get as much Turkish lira as we could and head on out to this city to eat all the foods. Pickles and potatoes. I know. Who would think that that would be so great? All right, so we got our first two things. We see these all over Istanbul. They're very cheap. They're both like, this is like 30 cents and this is about $1.50. So we got chestnuts and I think it's called a submit. So let's try it out. Mm. It's like a bagel. Tough, but quick snack. It is a little dry, but... Everyone eats them here. It's roasted sesame. They're actually really good. I'm digging it. <laughs> All right, so the second food that we have is chestnuts. And our host said that this is more popular during the winter time because it's more hearty, right? I don't know if I've ever eaten a chestnut before. How do I... I'm sure I don't just put it all in my mouth. I have to open it up. Guys, I don't know how to eat a eat a chestnut. <laughs> ah, I think I got the nut. All right. All right. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's, it's um smooth. It's different. It's a different type of nut. Hmm. I think I like it. So you peel the outer. Oh shit. <laughs> peel the outer layer off, but they're all over town, and you get that whole nutty smell, that smoked nutty smell. So you're left. With a chestnut. Oh, it's actually really good. Really soft to bite into. It's like a creamy-ish texture and it's, it's really hearty and actually really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna eat another one. I think these are good snacks to begin with, but there's actually another snack here in Istanbul that we've been seeing all over, but the best one we've been seeing on the Asian side. So let's go there and let's show you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, like it? Okay. Yeah. So we had to take it to the Asian side to show you dolma, which is a stuffed mussel. They boil the mussel first, then they open it, put the rice filling in there with herbs, and then they steam it so it closes again, and then you can eat it as a snack. Let's try it out. Mmm. <laughs> it's very fishy because the mussel's in it. It's lemony because the guy squeezes lemon over it and the rice is like herby and nice and cooked. It's a very easy meal, a snack to go. It's really good. <laughs> I tried to suck it out and it didn't Sorry. come. <laughs> now back to Europe. I hope you guys like the mussels, but now we're gonna head over to the Galata Bridge and check out the foodie section of Istanbul and see what we can find. Need some dedication to do a food tour in Istanbul because it's all uphill. <laughs> Almost. Hopefully, we've been walking up this hill for like 20 minutes. Our right, next stop is Burger King. I'm just kidding, it's uh, right across the street because we're getting obviously a potato. Here? It's a big potato. Uh, couscous? couscous? I think. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 And then you can just load it up with a bunch of stuff. There's butter in it, mozzarella cheese. So we have couscous, olives, I think sujuk, uh, turkey sausage, corn, pickles. Mm. Wow, it's so good. All these delicious toppings on it. Really, really delicious. You get the kind of like the meatiness from that sausage. The creaminess from the butter and cheese. And it's only like three dollars. This looks great. This reminds me of like when I was a kid, like reward dinner is a steak and a loaded baked potato. Back to my roots with a lot more toppings. Mm. It's good, huh? Yeah, it is very good. It's perfect because we're super cold and it's super hot. Is that a pickle in there? Yeah. 
Oh, never ate a pickle with a potato before. <laughs> you need to do that. It's really good. It goes well. We should have got two. I know. <laughs> it's not actually until you get to the bottom that you taste the butter and cheese. When you've eaten like half the topping, it's so good. I want my own potato. We'll make our mistake. Just get a potato each. Finish that whole potato. It's definitely a potato on steroids. And the best potato I've ever had, isn't it? Definitely, yes, definitely. All those toppings and pickles and potatoes. I know. Who would think that that would be so great? All right, the potato was good, but when you come to Istanbul, you have to eat some meat, right? So now we're gonna eat Kefta, kefta. Yeah. This thing behind us that looks delicious. So there's just a bunch of men in the back grilling the meatballs and making it by hand as well. We have some salad, tomatoes, cilantro, cabbage, that stuff. Kefta, of course, and a lot of bread. I think I just put it on the bread. Ooh. It smells really good, actually. Okay. I think I think you should eat like this. Mm. Very flavorful. There is so much flavor in that meatball. I don't know what he spiced it with, but we have that really spicy pepper sauce. Onions, bunch of vegetables, it's super delicious and really simple. And having street food here in Istanbul, you know that simple is just delicious, right? Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that. A lot of, I don't know what he did to it, but it's like a, a flavor bomb, right? I could just eat the meatballs. Not exaggerating, that was the best meatball I've ever had. And you could tell he was so proud of his uh, sandwich. He just kept bringing his bread, kept bringing in his salad. Uh, but we're super full because he was giving us all of that stuff. So that means tomorrow we're gonna have to take you to our next spot, which is an ice cream shop that has authentic Ottoman ice cream. One, yes, yeah. yeah. We walked all the way to a deep into Istanbul to get authentic Turkish ice cream. What makes this different from regular ice cream is that they use a thickening agent so it doesn't melt. It looks very sturdy. You see, it doesn't melt or it's not liquidy. Mm. I got pistachio and caramel. It's already super strong in flavor. Like the pistachio is extremely pistachio y. It's really good though. You wanna taste? Mm. Do you like it? Very thick. <laughs> <laughs> it's so thick, it doesn't even go to the bottom. So now we have boza, which is a fermented drink made from wheat, millet, or bulgur. And they put cinnamon on top and roasted chickpeas and it's very thick. And the, the guy said they usually make this in the fall and winter months, so. Mmm, okay. It tastes like Christmas in a cup. It does? Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. You do taste that tanginess from the ferment, fermentation, I guess, and the cinnamon and the chickpeas make it taste like a Christmas beverage. <laughs> So we can't end this food vlog without some more meat and we're taking you to our favorite place that we've been to so far and that's Tom Tom Kebab maybe <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's right behind us and they have so much delicious food so let's go check it out. We're going to talk about this place and that you can see they make the food here behind you. Uh, they make their own kebab meat, spices mixture, and then they put it on the grill. It's really good. And so, durum is a basically kebab and wrap. So, let's eat the durum. <laughs> What I like about this place is that they grill their wraps and the spices they make with their meats is just so delicious. We like this place over the durum you get on the streets, right? 
because they make sure they use the spices for this one. Next is the kebab, and you can see this grilling, but they put all these spices on it. They grill it with the peppers and tomatoes. It looks delicious. Mm, there's so much flavor. And this is what food is really about, right? When you go into a restaurant, you can see them grilling it. They bring it out to you. It has all those smells, and then when you bite into it, it just tastes amazing. So that's it for this food vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next vlog where we're gonna travel to our next destination. Can we go? Can we go? Uh, let's try to make it. <laughs> I don't know why you make those sounds. And it's not gonna help us survive. What? When you make those sounds, when you're like, Ooh. oh, squeaking. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.